A C chord. A C chord consists of three notes, C, E, and G. Here, a chord, a triad, a chord, the C chord, is made up of three notes, the root being C. From here we go up space line to an E. Then we go up space line to the G. That's a C major chord. Now, it's a major triad because between here and here are two whole steps. Half, 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 half. So one whole, two whole steps. From the root to the third, the major third, is two whole steps. And then from the middle of the triad of the chord to the top is one and a half steps. There's a half because there's no black note. And then there's a hole from here to here. So there's one and a half steps from the middle to the top. So that's how you build any major triad, major chord triad. C, up two whole steps, a major third, then a minor third, which is one and a half steps. And there's our C major triad. Now, if I have this, and this is called the root position because the root, the bottom of the chord, the root of it is the C. Now, I'm going to take the C and move it to the top. Now I've got the E, the G, and the C. That's called first inversion. Are these? Now I'm going to move the middle, the, third, the uh, E, to the top. And that's called the second inversion. And then if I move the G to the top, I'm back in root position with the C on the bottom as the root. So there are the three positions of the C chord. Now, because there are only three different notes in the C chord, and this is how they look in the inversions. There's the first root position, there's the first inversion, and there's a second inversion. That's how they look. Now, because the C chord is only three notes, you can have any three notes in the whole, on the whole keyboard, anywhere you want. I can have, a, a, this is called a closed position. Any of these, these are all closed positions because they're within an octave. Now, if I were to take a, a G here, an E here, and a C, that's open because it's more than an octave. And they sound different like that. Now I'm gonna. There are all just three notes here that I'm playing and I can get a rhythm going. three notes, C, E, or G. They're all over the piano. You can have them down here. You can have uh, some up here. Anywhere. So what more? You can have them in a two or a three. You can go one. three notes. Now play around with just those three notes and see you get yourself a rhythm or a little, you can't, you can't do much of a melody because we're only using those three notes. Now that's the major C major triad. Now if you want to make it a minor triad, a C minor, you flat the middle or lower the middle. So if this were C, there's our E, there's our G. 
You want to make it minor, you lower the middle. So you reverse it. So from the root to the third, minor third, it's one and a half steps. And from the middle to the top, it's one, two whole steps. So there's our minor. Root, root position. Move the C to the top. Now I'm moving the E middle to the top. And now I'll move the, the top to the, to the uh, back, the G to the top. And I come back to the root position again, just like. So if you wanted to vacillate between major, C major, go between major and minor. So there's the major triad, there's the minor, C minor. Now every other chord is formed the same way from the root. If you pick any note in the keyboard at all, suppose we pick this one, and we want a major chord, we have to go up two whole steps. One, two. Now from here we have to go up one and a half. There's one, one and a half. And what's the name of that bottom note? It's E, so that is an E major triad. To make it minor, we'd lower the middle. So we're just gonna stick with the C right now. So we're gonna go C major, and then C minor if you can. Just play around with those two chords. Now, also, if you